If you ever wondered whether white holes existed, let us tell you, yes they do. The existence of white holes, the literal opposite of black holes, has long been a subject of debate among scientists. Now, the James Webb Telescope has proven not only their existence, but also that they are more common than we once believed. But don't just take it from us, hear it from the scientists themselves. The Shocking Discovery Astrophysicists have long hypothesized the existence of white holes, but they have never been able to confirm it. Well, up until now. Researchers have at last been able to see a white hole in action thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. And when they discovered that it functions a lot like black holes by absorbing matter and energy from its surroundings, they were even more shocked. The main distinction is that, unlike black holes which draw matter and energy back into their centers, white holes allow matter and energy to escape. Supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies have previously been detected by the Hubble telescope, but a close-up view of a smaller-scale black hole event occurring on Earth or other planets has never been in anyone's wildest imaginations. Light is sucked up by black holes, which are very potent cosmic forces that basically function like vacuum cleaners. They could be as little as a pinhead or as big as our planet, but they are thought to be present all across space. Plus, they're also thought to develop when massive stars die and collapse inward on themselves, producing strong gravitational waves in the process. It's interesting that we can't see these waves before the star crashes because they can't escape. So, how did scientists prove their existence? Now that these weird objects are real, we also have proof thanks to the James Webb Telescope. A black hole emits X-rays and other light waves while it is devouring a large object like a star or planet. The telescope detected these light waves which, in turn, demonstrated the presence of a white hole. Now, it's thrilling because, in addition to confirming what we previously believed, it also gives us hope for the potential discovery of other mysterious objects. What else might be out there that we're yet to find? As scientists investigated further, more questions became clear. Our biggest unanswered puzzle, though, may still be. What lies on the other side of a black hole? Let's look into that a little more then. There are two competing theories. One contends that stuff is drawn into the black hole, compressed into an infinitely small point and then spit out in all directions. Or at least nearly so, after passing through an additional dimension. Scientists aren't completely certain which idea is true, so we'll keep looking. Not all matter vanishes into thin air. Part of it passes through and emerges on the other side. But what if that theory is accurate? Anyway, one thing is for sure, the James Webb Space Telescope has provided conclusive evidence that the opposite of black holes, white holes, eject matter instead of sucking it in. And due to all the mass and energy emanating from them, they are extraordinarily luminous. White holes are invisible to the naked eye, yet we can see the effect they have on the world around them. You see, according to scientists and theorists, every black hole has a counterpart white hole. Kind of like a twin, but in reverse. And even though we're unsure of the specifics, it's likely that there are other pairings of these things. This isn't the first time we've come close to white holes. Stephen Hawking first proposed the existence of white holes in 1975 after solving Einstein's equations for general relativity. His research was published in 1977. As you might know, a black hole is a region of extremely strong gravity that is typically larger than our solar system and from which nothing, not even light, can escape. Stellar, supermassive and tiny black holes are the three basic varieties. A star becomes a black hole when it burns through its fuel too quickly and falls under its own weight. On the other hand, when the gas clouds at the center of very huge galaxies collapse under gravity and finally become so thick that no light can escape from their surface, a supermassive black hole is produced. And when neutron stars clash with other neutron stars, stars or planets, or when stars go nova, miniature black holes are created. Now, white holes are the complete opposite of that. They're objects that radiate light but block everything from entering. Lead researcher Dr. Christopher Reynolds stated in a NASA statement that a star's demise can produce both a black hole and a white hole. And now we anticipate that the majority of stars in our universe will collapse into white holes. In fact, we may be able to estimate the amount of material that enters after scientists locate other systems with black holes and contrast them to those with white holes. So hold tight because we will have a better understanding of galaxy formation once we are aware of this. Dr. Reynolds also noted how this discovery provides us with important information about cosmic history. For instance, what happened to all the gas? 
Has it developed into new stars? Did dark holes swallow it up? How does that impact the quantity of galaxies that we observe today? These are only a few of the questions that this discovery has left unanswered. What is certain, though, is that the James Webb Telescope, which has already succeeded Hubble, will shed more light on a lot more unsolved cosmic riddles. For now, we know for a fact that black holes are extremely dense objects from which nothing can escape, not even light. Also because of the fact that they don't emit any light, they are quite challenging to find. The white holes, though, full of light. Everything changed when the James Webb Space Telescope, which was put into orbit in 2018, managed to prove their existence. The powerful infrared camera of the telescope started examining nearby galaxies as soon as it was operational. Scientists discovered a luminous object when it was focused on the galaxy NGC 4261, which should have been free of any objects. When investigated closely, this was the first white hole observation that was positively identified. Now, similar objects have been observed by the Hubble telescope telescope, but its resolution was insufficient to identify what it actually was. The finding establishes for the first time that these giant objects full of light do exist, which are potential causes of the gamma-ray bursts that NASA's Fermi Gamma-ray Space Telescope found in 2008. This kind of a discovery also means that we might be able to identify other objects in the universe using similar methods such as enormous black holes at the center of galaxies. It also points out how far technology has advanced since 1970, when astronomers first began to consider these mysterious objects. Here's a catch though, the second law of thermodynamics which dictates that the entropy of the cosmos may only ever rise or stay constant, but never decrease, would be broken by a white hole in reality. Typically, entropy is described as a measure of unpredictability. In other terms, it refers to the degree of chaos or ambiguity. Scientists unveiled the first ever photograph of Sagittarius A, the black hole at the heart of the Milky Way galaxy in May 2022, thanks to developments in the Event Horizon Telescope program. Although at first glance this may not seem to have anything to do with white holes, learning more about the dynamics of black holes may lead to groundbreaking discoveries about white holes and other mysteries of the cosmos. According to some theorists, combining Einstein's theory and quantum theory suggests a new perspective on how white holes function. They might represent a slow-motion replay of the initial black hole's development rather than the escape. To a spaceship peeking in from a distance, a white hole seems just like a black hole. It has weight and it could spin. The event horizon or bubble boundary separating the item from the rest of the cosmos can also attract a ring of dust and gas. But when they continued in their observation, the crew saw something that a black hole could never do, a belch. As we mentioned, Stephen Hawking's discovery that black holes lose energy in the 1970s led to the idea that white holes also might exist. In other words, if a black hole emits energy, it will eventually reach the end of its life cycle. For now, a white hole is defined by physicists as a black hole traveling backwards in time. They claim that things inside a white hole are not constrained and are free to go outside of it. However, the rest of the cosmos would have no influence on the white hole's source because nothing can enter it. Or could this be a portal to an alternate reality? Let us know what you think about the existence of white holes in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.